This is a massive tier list, and I'm going to use it to rank every mob in Minecraft. But to do that, we need to collect all 75 mobs and trap them inside it. Starting with the most deadly mob in the game, the Warden. Okay, Mr. Warden, follow me. Ow. Oh. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Ow. No, 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 no. No. I think I got away. Another one. All right, yeah, let's start with the easier mobs and work our way up to the harder ones. So I think this chicken will be our first mob. But now the question is, which tier does the chicken go in? And we're going to have to decide this for every single mob, meaning by the end of the video, we'll be able to see which mobs are the best and which mobs are the worst, in my opinion, of course. But I'm always right. So chickens are pretty boring, but they do have some cool features, like the fact that they can lay eggs and the fact that they never take full damage. So I think the chickens earned itself a spot on the second lowest tier. So we'll build it a nice little enclosure. No, no, down. Bad chicken. And that is our first mob trapped. Next up is the humble pig. And they're pretty boring. So I was going to put them in the bottom tier. But then I remembered Technoblade skin was a pig. So that at least bumps it up to the middle tier. Come along, Mr. Pig. And you are trapped. Next up is the cow. And because cows are pretty much better than pigs in every single way, I think it deserves to be in the second top tier. So follow me, Mr. Cow. No, not you, Mr. Sheep. You're next. And done. Now, Mr. Sheep, they're not very good. You're only a bed to me. But fun fact, sheep are actually my girlfriend's favorite animal. So I'm going to put them in the bottom tier. <laughs> I'm only joking. I'll put them in the second bottom tier. And that's the sheep trapped. Anyway, speaking of my girlfriend, she's a noob at Minecraft. So I want to use this completed tier list to show her which mobs are good and which ones are bad. The only problem is she's leaving for a trip in seven days. So we need to hurry up. Next up, we have horses, which are a pretty good source of leather. You can also ride them, but they're pretty much useless if you've got an elytra. So for that reason, it's going on the second bottom tier. We'll give the horse some hay bales and we'll trap him in with glass paints for all of eternity. I then trapped the donkey and the mule in the bottom tier because they're pretty much just worse horses. Now that we've got these basic mobs, we can move on to some of the slightly harder to get mobs, like the sniffer. These guys take a really long time to get, but not for me because I've got 1,000 of them. So sniffers are really useless, but they do look kind of cool. So let's put them in the middle tier. And this time we'll go for a slightly different enclosure. So we'll use yellow for the floor. We'll have red for the bottom of the walls and then green for the top like a sniffer. I really hope that's enough space for a sniffer, otherwise he is going to die. Anyways, let's get the next mob. And this one might actually be the first god tier mob, but not for the reason you'd expect. Because this is my dog Mark, and he's been with me since the start of my 5,000 day hardcore journey. He's even got his own security dog. That's how much I value him. So I want to put him as the first mob in the god tier. So we have to walk him to the tier list. I really don't want him to die. There's the security dog, but where's Mark? No, Mark! No, no. Oh my God. All right, please. Yes. And if you didn't know, Mark is a dog, so he loves bones. He also loves killing sheep. So we should also use some wool. And finally, Mark's favorite color is blue. So we're going to use some blocks of lapis as the floor for his build. And these guys are officially the first top tier mobs. Wait, I'm pretty sure this was a thunderstorm, but now it's stopped. Oh, we're going to have to wait ages to get the thunderstorm mobs. That's so annoying. So whilst we're waiting for another thunderstorm, why don't we start with the basic hostile mobs like the zombie? Do you mind? I think the zombie is a pretty bottom tier mob. It doesn't really do anything special and they're just generally annoying. However, they're not my least favorite hostile mob. So I'm going to put them at the second bottom tier. All oh, right. Yeah, there's baby zombies. So it's actually going to go in the bottom tier. And for the zombies habitat, we're going to steal a bunch of this stuff from the spawner. And the zombies despawned. Whilst we wait for it to go night again, let's build its cage quickly. Okay, we've got another zombie. Come on. Ow, ow. And that's the zombie trapped. Next up, we've got the zombie villager, which is actually slightly better than the zombie because you can cure it and turn it back into a villager. So I think it's earned its place in the second bottom tier. 
Wait, this is when I realized a big problem. I'd forgotten to name tag some of the mobs, and because of that, some of my mobs had despawned. So if we're gonna collect all 75 mobs before my girlfriend leaves on a trip, we're gonna need some name tags. And I don't really care how expensive they are because I am rich. So now I'm gonna name each one of these mobs after you guys. Because if you didn't know, I can see who's publicly subscribed to my channel. So for example, this pig will now be called Rapid Time. So whilst I'm naming the rest of the mobs, don't forget to subscribe if you wanna be in a future video. But anyways, with the zombie recaptured, we now have 11 of the 75 mobs. Yeah, we need to make a lot more progress. So next we'll grab this creeper. Okay, let's build his enclosure. Why am I doing this? Oh my god, he's right there. I didn't want him to come up yet. No. Oh, okay. Maybe if we lure him over here. Okay, stay there. Put some TNT on there. Okay, we need to be fast with this. If this goes off, it will blow up all the other mobs. Gotta fly up there. In here. Yes. Yes! That is the creeper trapped. <laughs> Imagine when we have to do the supercharged creeper. Oh no. But for now, why don't we make a start on the water mobs? So first I got the boring fish like the salmon and the cod, and then moved on to the more exciting fish, such as the tropical fish and also the puffer fish, which is slightly harder to find. Yes, and out. Yoink. Okay, so these fish are definitely a lot cooler than the basic fish, but the puffer fish is very annoying, so it's going in the second to bottom tier. Ow. Oh my god. Yeah, there's a good reason for it being in this tier. It's so annoying. And because the tropical fish is nowhere near as annoying, it can go in the middle tier. Stop. Oh, I hate you so much. And if that wasn't annoying enough, we now have to get the mobs like the squid and the dolphin in. Maybe it'll work if we make a tunnel from the water to the tier list. I don't think... Just sitting here and waiting is gonna work. Can you put a squid on a lead? You can. Wait, what? All right, come on. This way. Yes. Okay, now come up. Nice. Yes, he's going up. Just come over here. Yes. Oh my God. The squid is trapped and you will forever be called gamers. And when I woke up the next day, it was time to get the dolphin. Because dolphins are pretty cool, we need to extend this tube up to the second top layer. This should work. So we'll just grab this guy. All right, yeah. Up here, Mr. Dolphin. Come on. Don't fall through the hole. Slowly. Yes. And that is the dolphin trapped. So we've now trapped 18 of the 75 mobs, including most of the water mobs. And I say most because we've still got the guardian and the elder guardian to collect. They're going to be really hard and I still don't know how we're going to get them. So whilst I'm trying to think of a way to do it, why don't we capture this guy? And he's invisible. Great. Anyways, my first thought is we can't put a lead on this guy. So instead, we're gonna have to build a minecart track. And because every YouTuber hates these guys, he is definitely going on the very bottom tier. If we put him in this boat, we should be able to bring him over to the rails. Now if we place a minecart there and one there. Oh, he is gone. He should go straight in there. Nice. We'll name tag him. And that is the wandering trader captured. Why don't we do the villager next? And to make it more interesting, I'm going to give myself 10 minutes to capture the villager. And if I don't do it, I have to do the raid mobs next. And that will be extremely hard. So I've got 10 minutes starting from now. All right. Luckily for me, there is a village right here, but it still might be a struggle getting the villager all that way. We will take this guy. I'm going to craft a boat. Come on, get in the boat, get in the boat. Yes, he's in. Okay, now we need to dig our way through this forest back to the thing. All right, I'm digging out a too wide pathway all the way there. No, uh -huh. there's stone in the way. Oh, this is going to slow it down a lot. All right, yes, we are done digging. Okay, it brings us out here. All right, then from here, we'll build a minecart track. Okay, now we just need to go back and get him. All right, here he is. Okay, can we get there in time? Oh, it's going to be close. We just have to get him into the tier list and it counts. Why are boats so slow on land? Oh my God, this tunnel's so long. I see the minecart track. If we get him on that, we might actually be able to do it. All right, come on, quick, quick, quick. And minecart, push him on. Okay, go, go, go. Have we actually done this? I think we have. Yes, the villager is in the tier list. That counts. And we did it in less than 10 minutes. No, no. Oh my God. I guess we're doing the raid mobs. So for this to work, we need to kill every wave except the last one. Yeah, we should probably keep some of these villagers alive because we still need to trap one. You are safe. 
That's two waves done. Oh no, we've got this guy. Oh, how are we even gonna trap this guy? <laughs> that doesn't matter for now, we just need to kill him. All right, so this is wave seven, which means it's the last wave. So we have to trap the mobs this round. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh, one hot. Yes, we have one of the axe guys in the boat. Can this guy go in a boat? No. Nope. No, I don't think he can. There's the regular pillager. Okay, here's the ravager. So we need to get him in this pit. Yes, we have it in the pit. And can we get a vex in a boat? Oh, they're just going to despawn and die anyway. But what we do need is an evoker. Yes, we've got an evoker in a boat. Here's a witch. Yes, I think that's all the raid mobs trapped. Okay, now we need to name tag the mobs so they don't despawn. Yes. Okay, now let's start transporting them. And we'll start with the easier ones first. He literally can't even hit me. No, no, no. Oh my god. I should probably pay attention. Yes, he's in. All right, go. And because pillagers are pretty boring, I'm going to put them in the second lowest tier. This is his nice enclosure. And he is trapped. That was only the easiest raid mob. So next up, we've got this guy. Hope. Oh my god, he can hit me in the boat. That is really not good. We're gonna need to make a giant railway. And this time, the Vindicator is going in the middle tier. So that's where the track needs to go. All right, it's all set up. Now the moment of truth. Will this actually work? Yes. All right, come on. <laughs> Why is there a chicken in there? Let's go. And he is trapped. Now we'll do the same thing for the witch. All right, get in the minecart. Let's go. Now let's set the track up for the evoker, which is going to be on the second top level. I am really not looking forward to this one. No, there's a vex in it. Oh my god. We're going to have to come back and get the evoker later. But for now, let's try and get this bad boy. He's literally destroying all of these trees. I think we'll put him next to where the evoker was going. And his enclosure is going to have to be a lot bigger. Please let this work. All right, come on, Ravager. Follow me. Get in the minecart. Yes, he's in. Don't die. Whatever you do, please don't die. No, no, no. No. Okay. He's not dead. Okay, he's trapped. Let's go. So now that we've got pretty much all the raid mobs, we can finally get the villager. All right, there's one in here. Now get on the truck. Come on. Yes. And because the villager's really annoying, but it is also really useful, I think it belongs in the middle tier. And we'll build its enclosure out of emeralds because that's pretty much all they're good for. So that is the villager trapped, which means we now have 25 mobs collected. But in order to teach my girlfriend all of the mobs, we need all 75 mobs. And we only have five days left until she leaves. So we need to make progress a lot faster. I think I'm gonna get some more of the easy mobs out of the way, like the bee. Okay, he's gone in, so if we steal this and we make a nice bee-colored enclosure, we can just place the hive here and that is the bee captured. Next up, let's get this fox. Foxes are pretty useless, but they're cute, so they're going in the middle tier. Next up is this stupid cat. And as you can tell, I'm more of a dog person, so the cat is going on the second bottom level. Next up is this stupid little Alley. So if I give him one of these, he should come and get it. Yes! He got it and he is trapped. I then managed to capture a rabbit, a spider and a frog. Well, the tadpole should grow up into a frog whilst we're getting the elder guardian and the guardian because I think I've finally figured out how to get them. And the first step to doing that is finding an ocean monument. This will probably come in very handy. All right, we found our monument. Now we need to find an elder guardian. Okay, here he is. Let's block this off quickly. All right, and we'll drink some milk. And now we're gonna turn this section into a giant portal that the Elder Guardian can fit through. Okay, we need to get rid of the water so we can actually light the portal. Now we can light this portal. Now we need to connect this portal to the portal by our tier list so we can transport the Elder Guardian through the nether. Okay, so it starts here and it's this way. Build a nice little bridge. Bad gas. And we should probably make the portal a bit bigger so that it can actually fit through. Now we should be able to use our sponges to drain this. It's working. If we drink some milk, we can break all of this dirt. And hopefully we can just push him through the portal like that. Uh, minecart. Yes. Stay there. Stay there. No. No, no, no. Come back. Come back. How did he go back through the portal? Come on. Be a good elder guardian. Go through. This is definitely the hardest mob so far. Come on, go through the portal. All right, I finally managed to get him back through and he's now got a name tag, so he won't despawn. Hopefully, we should just be able to push him all the way there. Yes, it's working. All right, now if we break this minecart, he should go through. Yes, 
He's gone through. Where is he? Yes, he's going up. Let's go. <laughs> he is trapped. So now let's get the regular guardian in the exact same way. So with the guardian captured, that is 34 out of the 75 mobs trapped. Oh, bloody hell, not mining fatigue again. That's going to make building all the rest of these enclosures so much harder. I mean, we could just keep getting milk from the cow, but I think we need a more permanent solution. Yeah, we definitely do. So I guess whilst we're getting the rest of the mobs, the Elder Guardian can live over here. Bye-bye. No, 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 no. Oh my god, that was close. No, no, no. That's much better. And it's a good job that problem was solved because we only have four days left until my girlfriend leaves. And we still have some really hard mobs to collect. Thankfully, this next mob isn't one of those hard ones, but it is definitely a contender for the top tier because it is quite literally the goat. Get it? Because it's a goat. <laughs> So with the goat captured, the next mob is going to be the turtle. Let's go. So in my opinion, turtles are pretty boring, but they look kind of cool and they give you turtle helmets. So I'm going to put them in the middle tier. Enjoy your new home, Mr. Turtle. No escaping. And for the next mob, we need to find a mushroom island because this is the only place you can find the mushroom. It's literally such an iconic mob and it can be used as an unlimited food source. So I think it belongs in the second top tier. But because we're so far away, we need to transport this guy through the nether. And actually, we're gonna need two of them for a reason that I'll tell you later. Okay, now I need to be very careful not to walk into fire. Okay, stay on the path, the corner. No, don't fall off. Yes. No. Okay, yes. All right, so one of these guys is going into the minecart and is going to the second top tier. Let's go. And this guy can stay here trapped in this box until we get a thunderstorm because then we can turn him into a brown mushroom. But now I think it's finally time we start getting the nether mobs. So first up, I got the zombie piglin. And I think this guy belongs in the very middle tier. But then skeletons were really annoying me, so I decided to capture one. And that is the skeleton trapped. And afterwards, I trapped the magma cube. Nope. No! That definitely doesn't work. Yes! Okay, it went through, but it did get cut in half. All right, and... Yes. Yeah, I think I made that enclosure a bit too big. And speaking of big enclosures, this guy's enclosure is gonna have to be massive. Well... Not that specific one. So before we capture a ghast, let's capture all of the easier nether mobs. Like the strider, piglin, blaze, and wither skeleton. Now there are only three nether mobs that we need, and all of them are gonna be extremely hard. But we don't have any time to mess around because my girlfriend leaves for a holiday in three days. And after that point, we won't be able to show her any of the mobs, meaning all our work will have been pointless. And so the first of the hard nether mobs is the hoglin, slash Zoglin, but the adult one. Surely it's mom or dad is going to be nearby. Oh yes, here we go. This guy hurts so much, but he's still the easiest of these three mobs. All right, no gas. We don't need that right now. No. Oh my God. Don't you dare. Come on, get in the minecart. Yes, it's in. Oh. Okay, now we'll get a name tag using a subscriber's name. Now follow me, Mr. Hoglin. Oh wait, he's going to turn into a Zoglin. Yeah, and I think these fat pigs are really cool. So I'm going to put them on the second top layer. And he's trapped. Let's go. The next hard nether mob is somewhere in there. If you haven't guessed already, we're looking for the piglin brute. All right. Uh, please don't hit me. Okay, you're named. Ow. And now to use this railway that I spent literally nearly an hour building. Oh, get, no. Oh my God. Go on the mine truck. And whilst I was busy thinking of the third and final hard nether mob, this happened. Oh my God. He just turns into a zombified pig, man. So my only choice was to get another piglin brew and this time keep him in the nether. And just for the record, I ranked him on the second lowest tier. Then I also decided to get both the hoglin and the piglin in the nether as well. Meaning we can officially say that we've collected 47 out of the 75 mobs. And that there's only one nether mob left. But that one mob is like the final boss of the nether. It's the ghast. I've literally been dreading this moment all video. But let's give it a go. All right, so the first thing we need to do is make this portal a lot bigger. Okay, this should be big enough. Now we somehow need to get a ghast into a minecart. Maybe if we use a fishing rod? Yes, I'm literally pulling a ghast. This way, Mr. Ghast. I'm just taking you for a... No, I lost it. Yes, get in the minecart. Yes, he's in. 
Okay. No, no, no. Don't suffocate. All right, quickly. We need to push him. Oh, no. There's a gap. Will this actually work? Please work. No! So I'm going to do some more research on how to capture a ghast. But whilst I do that, let's get the evoker. That way, at least we can finally take off all the raid mobs. Let's go. There's an evoker. Get in the boat. Oh! Oh my god. According to Chazza, who just did this video, the evoker was one of the hardest ones to catch. Yes! He's in! Okay, now if we push this, it should pick him up. Yes! Why is there a zombie pigman? No, no, no! Are you kidding me? There is still another wave, so let's try that again. Oh, one of them is already trapped. Yes! He's in the boat. Yes! Yes! All right, come on. If I've done this right, it should go straight into its cell. Okay, come on. No. Oh, not mining fatigue. Yes, I think it's working. We have to break. No, go the other way. No. All right, come on. If we put a button here. Yes, break the boat. And that's the evoker officially trapped. And my helmet's broken. What the hell? Yeah, I think that might have been the easiest mob so far. Anyways, now I want to focus on getting the thunderstorm mobs ticked off. So whilst we wait for a thunderstorm to happen, let's get the rest of the easy mobs. Starting with the iron golem. So for this, we'll need some iron and some pumpkins. Now, because iron golems are so useful, we'll put them on the second top tier. And of course, we'll make their enclosure out of iron. Maybe nothing's allowed to touch it. Go up. Go in. Yes. Next up, we can do a similar thing for the snow golem. Nice. And he is named. For the next mob, all we're going to need is a bucket of water. Yoink. And because I think these might be my girlfriend's favorite mob, I am going to have to put them in the top tier. It's also cool that you can get the rare blue axolotl like I did in this video. I think that's a very happy axolotl. But this parrot isn't going to be very happy because it's about to be captured. Ow. I don't know why I said, oh, I literally just hit the parrot. Yay. All right, now I'm going to walk you to your prison. So that's the parrot trapped. And now we might as well get the other two jungle mobs. Wait, but it's raining. Is it a thunderstorm though? Yes. Oh my God. Uh, we need our trident fast. All right, quick, grab it. All right, first up, we should be able to get the brown mushri. Oh my God. No, the thunderstorm stopped. And we literally don't have long left until my girlfriend goes on holiday. But even though things were going wrong, the knowledge that we had collected 52 mobs already kept me going. And so I managed to go back and capture the ocelot with a lead. And then I managed to locate the final jungle mob. Hello, Mr. Panda. And we can't put a lead on him. Yes. Why is his neck literally broken? Hopefully he's all right. <laughs> he seems happy enough with his enclosure already, but let's give him some bamboo and let's upgrade his enclosure even more. Hodzol, then a couple of melons, and finally, of course, a lot of bamboo. After the panda, I managed to go on a streak of getting the mobs really easily. So next, I traveled to the snowy biome to get both the polar bear and the stray. Then I traveled thousands of blocks to get the camel from my camel paradise. And I also got the husk from a desert. I then managed to trick a silverfish into the nether and trap him in a yellow box. Then next up, I got a glow squid in the exact same way I got a squid earlier and also finally got a drowned. Not this one though, because it had a trident, which reminded me that I needed to get another mushroom so I'd be ready for the next thunderstorm. And after getting that, I got an enderman, which I thought looked really cursed in a minecart. And then I was also easily able to trap a little purple bug by spamming ender pills. And finally, to end the streak, I got an insanely annoying cave spider and then stayed awake for three Minecraft days so I could trap a phantom. So all of that progress meant that with only one day until my girlfriend leaves on holiday, we have just 10 mobs left to collect. They are some of the hardest mobs to collect in the entire game. And of course, one of which is the ghast. But luckily, I think I finally figured out a way to trap one. So first things first, let's grab some materials for its enclosure. And we'll put this guy in the second bottom tier because they are insanely annoying. All right, and now we need to replace these blocks 
with obsidian so that we can make a giant portal for the gas to enter its enclosure. Perfect. Now we'll use some ladders and some ender pearls to get on top of the bedrock. We'll build up a bit. And now we build the thing that should make this all possible. Ladies and gentlemen, I present the Gas Catcher 4000. Wow. This is a design by Google and apparently it's meant to help us catch a gas. Because this is built in a soul sand valley, a gas should spawn. Yes! The gas is spawned. Okay, it's named. Now we need to get it in a minecart. Okay, it's in the minecart. Now if we click this lever, it should go into the portal. Come on. It went through. Yes! There's a ghast! And I'm gonna break this portal so it can't go back through. It kind of looks a little bit weird with the tentacles going through the floor, but we don't have time to worry about that because we have to get the bat and the slime. And both the bat and the slime require a dark place to spawn that's underground level. Okay, this dark place should be good for the bats. And because this room is in a slime chunk, this should be good for the slimes. All right, it's been a little bit. Let's check. Do we have a bat? No, we do not. But what about a slime? No. Wait a second though, because there is a swamp nearby. So we might be able to get a slime from there. Yes, there's a slime. It's a tiny one, but it's still a slime. And that is the slime trapped. But now a bat still isn't spawning. So I think we'll have to resort to looking in the caves. There should be some bats down here like that guy. The only problem is how are we going to trap him? Oh, stay still. Okay, I think it's trapped in that little area. Maybe if we put some rails there and then put a rail there and then put a minecart. Can it get in the minecart? I don't think bats will go in minecarts or boats. Anyways, we'll name this bat because there is a thunderstorm happening right now and we can always come back to this bat later. Quick, let's grab our trident. No, how did the thunderstorm stop already? We need to get the bat from there to there and we can't use minecarts or boats or leads. We could use the nether though. So similar to what we did with the ghast, if we build the bat's enclosure over here and then replace the back of the enclosure with a nether portal, we should be able to use this to transport the bat into here. Now we want to bring this portal on top of the nether. Please let this work. All right, now this should link up with the one in the cave. Yes, it works. Now we need to connect these two portals so that the bat can fly in between them into his enclosure. Okay, the bat tube has been set up and I've used glass as the roof so we can see how far the bat is along. Okay, now we need to make sure the bat goes through the portal. Yes, it went through. We'll block off that portal so it's only got one way to go now and we should just be able to keep pushing it along by placing blocks at the back. Oh my God, I nearly missed a bit of glass. That could have been so bad. Yes, yes, I think it went through. Are you kidding me? I left a hole in the enclosure. But despite this massive failure, I was determined to get all the mobs before my girlfriend left on holiday. So I had to keep going. All right, this time I am not making the same mistake. Slowly but surely, we are progressing. Yes, the bat went through. Break the pool. Let's go. The bat literally can't escape. That was definitely the hardest mob so far. But this next one might be even harder. Because we need to transport a shulker all the way from the end dimension to our tier list. Okay, I think the best way of doing this is by getting it to go through one of these gateways. So let's build a track leading from this all the way to that shulker. In fact, we should be able to join it up with this rail that we used in the shulker episode. Okay, now if we push this, yes. It should send the shulker along, please. Yes, it went through. Okay, now we need to get that floating shulker into this portal that is underneath the sun. We'll build a trap just above the portal so that we can drop the shulker straight into the portal. I hope it doesn't go through that hole. Okay, the track is ready. Now, if we break this block, he should fall onto the track. Yes, now we just need to push him. If only we could stop floating. Please just go straight through. Wait. It went straight through that hole. Oh. All right, here we go. It should actually work this time. Yes, it went through. Oh, and by the way, we now have a sh Oh my God. I've literally tried three times and it's not working. So I think the only other thing to try is putting some blocks below this. And then maybe we have to break the minecart. Now let's try it for the fourth time. Yes. All right. I think that's where it's meant to be. Now we just break the minecart. 
Yes, that means he should be at the world spawn. And there it is. And now all we needed to do was transport the shulker through the nether like we did with the bat. All right, and that is the shulker trapped. Which means that after all of our hard work, we only have the thunderstorm mobs and of course the warden left. So whilst we wait for the thunderstorm, let's get prepared for the warden. We're going to need an entire shulker box of totems. There we go. And we're also going to need a lot of wool to stand on. And now that we're fully prepared for the warden, it's time to wait for a thunderstorm. And whilst waiting, I was feeling the pressure because in 10 hours, my girlfriend leaves for a holiday. And if we haven't collected all the mobs by then, all of our work was for nothing. So I was really hoping a thunderstorm came soon. Yes, there's a supercharged creeper and a mushroom. And we'll trap him in a boat. Yes, then we'll give him a name tag so he doesn't despawn. Okay, let's try that again. Here we go. Yes, he didn't blow up. Now we also need to do it to a horse. Wait, what? Wait, I think we need to find the skeleton horse. We can't make it. Yes, this horse just got struck by lightning. So if we walk up to it, yes, the skeleton horseman. That's what we need. Now we need to name this guy and name the skeleton horseman. Let's go. You can actually put it on a lead. Okay, there's the skeleton horseman. Now we'll get the skeleton horse. This one should be a little bit easier. And then the brown mushroom. If it wants to go in. Yes. No, wrong way. And now it's time for the supercharged creeper. We have to be very, very careful with this guy. And if this blows up, it'll probably kill a good 20 mobs. All right, come on. No. What if we send it back along? It's right next to the track. Yes. Yes, it's in. Oh my God. How did that work? And that is the supercharged creeper trapped. And so with the llama we got when we were waiting for the thunderstorm and after finally putting away the elder guardian, we only had one mob left. The Warden. It's so deadly that if we put it in the tier list, it would likely kill all of the mobs. So instead, we've got a special containment unit set up in the nether. Here we are. And there is the portal to the ancient city. Let's do this. Let's collect the final mob. And we're going to have to do it fast because we've only got like two hours until my girlfriend has to leave. Please let this not be the end of my hardcore world. Let's try and get him to spawn somewhere over here. Here we go. All right, there he is. Come on, Warden. Follow me. Oh my god, this is one of the scariest things I've ever done. Ow! Where's the portal? I can't see. All right, through here. Why is there a zombie pigment? Oh my god, no. I think he went through. Okay, now we need to be very careful when we go through. Oh my god. It's the other side. There he is. Follow me, Warden. I can't see anything. No, not a gas. That's not what we need right now. Okay, it's in the pen. I need to get him out of there so I can build something in there to keep him alive. Okay, that should be enough time. Now we start running. So this should make noise and keep him attacking it. Because he hates noise. Okay, there we go. All right, quickly, we'll just name tag him. Yes, he's name tagged. I don't know if that makes a difference, but he should follow us in here. And then we'll run around and block it up. He's in. No. Right, come on. Block it up, block it up. Yes. Yes. Let's go. That's the warden trapped. Oh my God. I think I used about 20 totems. And if I had to put him on a tier, I'd definitely put him on the bottom tier. So we now have a complete tier list of all the mobs in Minecraft. And now it's finally time for my girlfriend's reaction. I wonder which one will be a favorite. Okay, this is every mob in the game. Wow. <laughs> That's a zombie. Uh-huh. I'm doing trader. Why? Right, you turn around. We, Excuse me. We don't like that guy. Oh. But this is the bottom race. So we don't like any of these. Oh, like I don't like you. <laughs> these are the slightly better mobs. A chicken. Oh, no. He's not happy. <laughs> a cow. Oh, my. This is the second highest cow. <laughs> Cows are so cool. There's a little slime. I like slime. Dancing on all its dead friends. Now the very coolest mobs. My dog, Mark. And his security dog. His name is Security Dog. Yeah, his name's Security Dog. There's an axe of battle. They are the best. How have you put a goat above a sheep? It's because it's the goat. And so you surrounded him in TNT? Yeah. That's a really good idea. Mm -hmm. Not so much of a noob anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so now that she'd seen all of Minecraft's mobs, which one was her favourite? The axolotl. But I like the pink ones best. <laughs> so next time, get me a pink one. Yeah.